I'm Michelle and you probably know me as the Children and Youth Ministry Coordinator at CBC and right now I will be downstairs with the children, with the preschoolers and the primary school aged children. But this time tomorrow I will be doing my other job where I work as a teaching assistant um, for a special needs school in Canterbury. So I work for St Nicholas School, which is a school from four to 19 for children and young people with additional needs. But I am based at Canterbury Academy, where I work with a satellite class of year eight pupils um, who are aged 12 and 13. And we have our own block over there. We have four classes over at Canterbury Academy. So the children I work with, the young people I work with, mainly have learning difficulties, autism, speech and language difficulties, developmental delay. Um, yeah, so, and then there's lots of challenges that come around that as well. So this time tomorrow, I will have just finished teaching a year 10 class music. I teach three music classes a week, which is great because I get to use those skills and I really enjoy it. And it also means I get to work with three classes, um, two other classes in our block as well, which is fantastic. Um, so my year 10 music class, we're currently learning about film music. But the uh, challenge for me there is to be able to make it relevant and understanding, understandable for those children who have additional needs, but also make it fun as well and age appropriate because those kids are year 10, they're 14, 15. So we are looking at film music and how music can be used in films to change the mood and the effects. And we're having a really good time doing that. About 11 o'clock, I will be back with the year eights my year eight class and we will be doing PE so we'll be trying to support them in the that it's not necessarily my favorite lesson personally but our children love it and we work, do a lot of work on turn taking and teamwork and following rules so in my front line at school God uses me to be an example of Christ to those children and young people that I work with and also to my colleagues um, I'm really aware that for some of our children I may be the first example of a Christian that some of my children have ever worked, met or been with so I just have to be a positive role model to them within that I have to show them God's love um, through who I am and the way I interact with those young people it can be a lot, there's a lot more than just helping our kids with their learning difficulties um, but there's a lot of pastoral work as well so um, caring for them, giving them love and support when they need it with other issues that are going on so yeah that's um that's the main way god uses me in my workplace i think and that goes also for my colleagues as well and i try not to get involved too much in gossip and all the other things that happen in any workplace but um i try just to be be an example of an act christ and act the way that he would want me to act in that block and in that workplace um yeah so the way that God also uses me in my front line is I, I pray for the children, not necessarily when I'm at school or I might say quick prayer, but um, I try and consciously pray for our children as well because I'm really aware that for some of those children, God's never heard their name said to them, said to him in prayer before. And it's really important that I pray for them and pray that they grow up to be um, confident young people and able young people. So the encouragement I can offer to the church during this time, I've been really aware over the last few weeks, God's spoken to me about um, the sunshine after the rain. And there's a song that's been going through my head, which is completely irrelevant, but it's um, thunder always happens when it's raining or something. But that, um, and when we played a, did a praying activity last week, God really spoke to me about the fact that we've had the rain, the, the hard times and now's the sunshine and I just want to leave with the verse from Song of Songs chapter 2 verse 11 and it's uh, verses 11 and 12 and it says see the winter is past the rains are over and gone flowers appear on the earth the season of singing has come and I look forward to the day when we can sing in church again and we can all come together to worship but I feel that um, we're moving forward and I'm just really looking forward to seeing people and being able to spend time with others again and um, yeah and I feel that God's going to do a really good thing during this time. <laughs>